So this question pretty immediately looks like it's going to be a diagram question, um, specifically a graph question, right? So I kind of break that out of the um, typical diagram type of questions because usually I want to pay a lot of attention to the points on this graph that are provided. And we'll see, we'll see if I need to elaborate on that in a second. So the question says rectangle ABCD has vertices A, which is 4, 5, B, which is 0, 2, and C, which is 6, negative 6. So we have those points. I'm just going to connect them just so my eyes can see the rectangle. Right? So I know that my rectangle, I know that my other point, in fact, let me let me erase this. Just connect the dots. I know that my missing point should be here somewhere. It may not be exactly there, but it's got to be in that area, pretty close to there. Um, and then the question says, these vertices are graphed below in the standard XY coordinate plane. What are the coordinates of vertex D? Well, so this is where D is, right? So what would make sense? 10 comma negative 3, so 10 being here, negative 3 being here. That makes a, a lot of sense. I like that. 9, negative 2, that would be here. So that does not, even though it's in the right area, right? It doesn't actually make sense for it to be 9, negative 2. 8, positive 2, definitely not. 7, positive 1, definitely not. And 2, negative 9, which would be over here, is also a definitely not. So with that, right, 10, negative 3, or F and G are the closest are really the only two answers that make remote sense here, with F being the one that makes the most sense. So again, anytime you have a diagram question, the best thing to do is to actually label it, right? In this case, the again, the points were already labeled for us, but the question does say that it's a rectangle, so go ahead and actually draw your rectangle. Um, another little trick I could have used here is the slope between this point and this point, which is looks like I go up from two to five. So I'm up three and I'm over four, right? So up three over four, which means that from this point to its next point, I should also go up three. So it looks like I'm at negative six. So it takes me to negative three and then over four takes me to 10, which is exactly where the answer said I should be 10 comma negative three. So these are just little tricks you can learn. Um, as you do this, I use slope to find missing points quite often, actually, on this test. So there you go. Uh, 10, negative 3, we found it in two ways. One, just visually, because it makes the most sense given how we draw the rectangle. And the other, a little bit more mathematically, um, just given that if it's a rectangle, these two sides should be parallel, which means they should have the exact same slope. Right? So if I find the slope here, I should be able to find the slope there, and they should be the same. All right.